Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India students welcome to swayam prabha the course title is principles of marketing the lecture title is pricing decisions part 2 this is module 10 lecture 1 i am dr shoma sen gupta associate professor commerce kamla nehru college in university of delhi in this lecture we will discuss the ethical issues in pricing decisions ethical issues in pricing decisions now what are ethics ethics states what is right and what is wrong and be, uh, behaving in a manner where you are maintaining honesty and integrity now whatever is unethical might not be illegal but if you are ethical in your pricing decisions then in the long run you will enjoy a kind of goodwill in the market and also you can avoid uh, any kind of uh, action by the government so businesses who use ethical pricing strategies to sell their products and earn a profit are far more respected than those that hurt and defraud competitors or even consumers marketing strategies must not infringe on values like honesty transparency and autonomy as such the main crux of pricing ethics concerns the establishment of a balance of power through information between the producer and the consumer so free flow of information should be there the consumer should be aware why they are why the product is priced in such manner why it is high the what uh, any kind of hidden charges he should be aware of so that should be avoided by the producer and right kind of information should be given by the uh, producer or marketer to the consumer in a completely free markets producers often have the upper hand and this potentially lead to unethical practices like using the cheap or harmful materials or raw materials lying about the benefits etc um, um, uh, which are deemed harmful for society as a whole an ethic unethical price as i was telling you is not always an illegal price but it should be avoided by the marketer the marketer has to decide where the line is is this price strategy or that one too far over the line so they have to decide that and as far as possible they should remain ethical while taking pricing decisions unethical pricing strategies the following are considered as unethical pricing strategies price fixing price discrimination false advertising yo yo pricing and predatory pricing we will discuss all these unethical pricing strategies in detail in next few slides the first unethical practice pricing practice which we are going to discuss here is price fixing now this is a kind of an agreement it may be written verbal or inferred from conduct among competitors that raises lowers or stabilizes prices on competitive terms price fixing often runs a fall of antitrust laws in usa and we have a parallel law in india as well so any kind of connivance any kind of uh, uh, cartelization should be avoided the government tries to uh, protect consumers and ensure that prices are based on a free market price fixing is also about reducing competition so uh, that comes under uh, uh, competition act which was earlier known as mrtp act also it removes the ability for consumers to go for a better deal so this should be avoided because you are harming competition and choices of the customers 
The next uh, unethical practice is price discrimination. Although we have discussed discriminatory pricing and there also we have mentioned uh, that uh, uh, this may become unethical or illegal also. Price discrimination is when a retailer sells the exact same product or service at different prices to different people. Retailers adjust prices based on what they think the consumer will pay. Price discrimination can be ethical as well as unethical if it is done by the government uh, so that the people from extremely lower strata of society can also have the benefit of using that product, then it can be considered as an ethical practices. So when subsidies are given subsidize, at a subsidized rate, things are given to the poor people and uh, if it is charged at a higher price from people from higher strata of society, then uh, such kind of dis uh, dis price discrimination can be considered as ethical. But if there is no basis and still to just earn or maximize the profit the uh, organization is doing so that it can be considered as unethical unethical to trick to get unsuspected shoppers to pay more so that is the uh, uh, real uh, 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 thing whether it is ethical or unethical it depends upon the motive so this is about price discrimination False advertising is also an unethical practice. Here, labeling a price as a discount when it is actually the normal price. Advertising a sale or discount when the product has never been in stock. Misleading shoppers is illegal and unethical. And in India, this is considered as illegal under the Competition Act. So they are considered as unfair trade practices when you are saying that something is given free or at a discount but you are charging it then uh, and uh, you don't have the intention of providing them free or providing them at a discount then it is considered as false advertising pricing another unethical practice is yo-yo pricing it is a tactic to derive sales at that higher level higher prices Fixing prices higher for a limited time when supply is also low. So when supply is low, you are charging at a higher rate, then decreases price and increases supply immediately after. So you are playing with the supply and you are playing with the prices. So this is known as yo-yo pricing. Though it is just dynamic pricing, it gets unethical in uh, how you are using this practice. So uh, rather than consider being considered as dynamic pricing, it may be considered as, a, as an unethical pricing. It tricks shoppers into spending more money and to generate a higher margin. So you are in a kind of holding the goods and uh, selling it at a higher price and then uh, uh, when when you have uh, gained substantial amount of profit then you are uh, um, uh, allowing the supply of the goods in the market and then you are charging at a lesser price so this is uh, considered as unethical and hoarding is of course um, illegal also instead it should be done if there's high demand like with a new product launch or when supply is low like with event uh, tickets for example airplane ticket prices yo-yo all the time typically lower the earlier you book and higher the closer to your flight so this is yo-yo pricing another uh, unethical one is predatory pricing the pricing a product lower even below the cost of manufacturing than the competition in the hope of driving that competition out of business this is illegal and unethical in india a predatory pricing uh, falls under the preview of purview of MRTP Act, Monopolies and Restrictive Trade Practices Act, which is now known as Competition Act. Although many of the provisions of monopolistic practices have been removed from that, uh, and restrictive practices also, nevertheless, restrictive and um, uh, unfair trade practices are uh, are part of Competition Act. Uh, forces its competitors to close and thus create a monopoly and consumers do not get the benefit of competition in case of predatory pricing because the weak competitor will uh, lose the market because they cannot sell at a, uh, that low prices um, and they will vanish away from the market and this one then will remain the big competitor will remain and then they will increase the prices. It is not predatory if the company's prices are lower 
because of more cost effective manufacturing processes. So if you can justify why you have reduced the prices at a such a low rate, uh, then uh, it can't be considered as predatory pricing. But if you have you are charging less than the cost of manufacturing just to drive away the competition, then it is considered as predatory pricing. Uh, another type of unethical pricing policy or pricing strategy can be bid rigging. Now, this is uh, favoritism. You know that uh, uh, extreme secrecy is maintained when uh, bidding is done. Now, but it involves promising a commercial contract to one group, even though you may uh, make, a, make it look like multiple parties had the opportunity to submit a bid. And the, the, the firm which is offering the maximum benefit at the lowest price bid should be given the contract, but there is internal rigging. The price set by the competitor is told to another person, another company, and they bid it slightly less than the competitor and win the bid. So this is bid rigging. This practice hurts consumers considerably because the best producer doesn't receive the work necessarily. This involves some predetermined agreements between corporations involved in securing a contract. So this is bid rigging, which is quite prevalent and which is quite prevalent and it is very difficult to identify where they are doing that or how they are doing that, who are in connivance. But nevertheless, this is an unethical practice. And the last type of unethical pricing practice is supra-competitive pricing. This is also known as monopoly gouging. Sometimes the value that consumers place on a good is much greater than the cost of producing that good. This situation can take place during a shortage such as the price of food or fresh water after a hurricane or when a certain product is only one of a kind available. Now, pharmaceuticals and patents that surround them are a great example of supra-competitive pricing. Uh, so, they take advantage of the adverse circumstances. If they do that, then, then it is considered as unethical. To summarize this lecture, we can say businesses use ethical pricing strategies to sell their products and earn a profit. Um, uh, they run in the long run. Marketing strategies must not infringe on values like honesty, transparency and autonomy. The unethical pricing strategies are price fixing, price discrimination, false advertising, yo-yo pricing, predatory pricing, bid rigging and supra-competitive pricing. Thank you students. So this was Pricing Decisions Part 2, Module 10, Lecture 2.